What's going on guys, Z here from The Awesome Show, back showing off my Power Ranger collection, and this time we have the Power Rangers Ninja Storm Thunder Megazord, or the Thunder Power Megazord. You know, we gotta differentiate from the Mighty Morphin Thunder Zord, but this is a really cool looking Zord. This is the secondary Zord for Ninja Storm, as we've had the Storm Megazord already, but this time we have the Thunder one. So this is a pretty cool Zord made up of two bug vehicles, and of course these go to the Crimson and Navy Thunder Rangers with the Crimson Insectazord and the Navy Beetle Zord. So two very cool looking vehicles. Usually when I do reviews, I start with them in the Zord mode, but this time with the way we're going to be putting stuff together, I'm going to go from the bugs to Zord back to bugs again so that we can do the combination Zord. So as I mentioned, we have the Crimson Insectazord, which is designed after a Japanese rhinoceros beetle mixed with a tank, which you can clearly see that with the beetle design. And then it's got the tank treads and has like a cannon there on the front. And then the Navy Beetle Zord is designed after a stag beetle because it's got the two like horns here on the front. I put them together like two pincers or something, but they're supposed to be out like that and look like stag antlers but it's a stag beetle and a monster truck which I don't really get the monster truck besides the whole wheels being like big giant wheels but it's not you know far enough off the ground and that's one cool thing as well the wheels have like a little spring into it so you can kind of like push on it but let's go ahead and go into the zord mode so we'll start with the stag beetle here so we'll go ahead and just pop the head part off so we got to pop the whole antlers and stuff off there and then you just grab up here at this point and pull it out like that so it extends out and then they can separate out and it turns into the legs there and go ahead and fold the feet out for those two there. So we got the feet and got the legs and so there's the waist and everything. So it's all put together there and that's really all that part is. So we'll go and sit that to the side. Then we got the Insectazord and this one for mine is broken. I need to buy a new one of this. Like it's a lot of parts are just broken on this and it was in bad shape when I bought it. Like I don't know if you can see like here, it looks like it's been super glued together. Like this part comes all the way up and around here. So like this door on this side won't open. It'll open up on this side and then more clips have broken off and everything. So it does even like stay together unfortunately so I just need to probably buy a whole new one of these because once again I did buy these used so I'm unfortunately dealing with used product so this one gets a little more complicated at least for me and stuff so go ahead and just squeeze the guns down here so the two guns on the side there you can go ahead and take the arms and so just pop them out so there's a clip up here at the top and one right here at the bottom so just pop them both out there and fold the arms out to the side do this on the opposite side as well and then we'll come around to the front here and you just I just grab onto here and then grab onto the top here and just pull it back like this so we're trying to just like break it in two just like that and a piece just went falling off so it looks like something else probably broke on the Zord as well so you just fold that back down around here and it has these two clips that go into there so we'll just kind of push those in together there and stuck like that and then we'll grab this one horn here and lift it up and kind of lift it up and over and we can go ahead and twist the horn around fold these little horns up and it reveals the face there for the Megazord and you just fold it forward and it's supposed to clip down on here but the clips are broken off on mine so it just kind of sits right there. So there you have the top of the Megazord there. So we have the two arms here so we can go ahead and twist these parts around to the side to reveal the hands there and do the same with the other side twist it around and got the hands. So now we have the upper half and the lower half of the Zord so we'll just go ahead and pop them together so it has the clips in there that go on those pegs. So you just pop them together like that. So then you can take the whole antler pieces from the Beetle Zord and it has this little part here and you can fold it down and around to the back there and with this you can turn it into like a weapon so it can be like a little thing so you can take this part here and stick it into the hands and close them up and then it can use this as a weapon or what I like to do is just have it out itself and then you just take it and clip it on the front so it's got the clips there that go onto that so we'll just go ahead and clip it on the front there which especially for mine since the whole stuff here is broken and it's kind of falling apart this helps keep it together as well so just clip it right on the front so just like that and I think it looks really cool unfortunately the head just does not stick which is really annoying it keeps like falling forward so it just needs to stay up like that and I think that looks super cool of course I'll overall look it really a lot of dark colors and stuff so it's hard to see but I think it just looks super cool with the colors so with especially it's mostly all black but it has like the dark blue details with the gold and stuff on it that adds some to it and I think looks super cool so now that we have the Zord we need to have a weapon well with this one it comes with power sphere number four which does go inside the chest which I'll kind of show that when we do it later but we go and open that and it has the spin blade inside of it so that's this thing that you unfold there so uh, there it gives it the handle and then it kind of unfolds here and it's designed after a flower it looks reminds me a lot of like a pinwheel or something but it's also an axe so we can put it in its hand and you know use it as an axe has a little face on it which is weird has this little mouth that opens so all sorts of little fun stuff there but you can obviously like I said just take that and clip it into his hand
hand as well and it'll obviously then use it as like an axe like I said there so you can use it as a weapon there it's not very menacing especially with that face on it and stuff but you know it's still you know pretty cool and whatever for the zord and you can also take this and combine it with the antlers as well to make like an additional weapon so if we take it apart there just take this and then with this you just kind of separate them apart and then you stick them onto the back of this here so the way the spoon blades design is you know got this little gap here the little things there so you can just take this and just slide it right onto it so the pieces here just slide perfectly on over that so you just slide them in there together and clamp it back together so then you have this massive you know the spin blade there with the antlers as well so nice big old weapon now i don't think it looks very good it's really like heavy so if you put it in it'll weigh the hands down a lot but you know it make, does make the weapon look a lot cooler but we'll go ahead and just collapse this back down again just fold all the blades together they go into one single layer just like that and then just fold this leg piece or the handle back up and then they just kind of sit into the ball and then you just take the ball put them together and there you got the power sphere four once again and we'll put that in his chest when we go back so now we're going to turn it back into their zord so so we already have this off so we'll go ahead and leave it and just again just fold that piece up there and then we'll just separate the two once again right at the waist just pull them apart there and again you're just going to work in reverse of this so with the head up here we'll go ahead and just fold the horns down on the front there take and fold this horn all the way twist it around so what that does is you know gets rid of the face and stuff so we'll put that there and then pick it up and fold it forward back into its little spot right in there and then we can go ahead and undo the pigs in the back there and fold this forward and clip them back together into there and so then with the arms again you just fold them up into their spots and clip them back into the pegs there at the top and the right here at the bottom so we're going to do that with the other side as well and their clip just popped off so there that is now into the crimson insectozoid there i think this one definitely looks the coolest because it's so big and looks so much like a rhinoceros beetle it's just crazy oh and also the front horn here there can move up and down so that's you know one little thing and the last part is here with the hands you just twist them around and make sure you fold them back down together so you twist them around and fold them down there close so you know it looks more like the tank treads so very cool there for that and for the navy beetles or again just do pretty much the same thing so we'll go and just fold the feet down in clamp it together there and then just take the head and put it on the top there and then just push the legs down in as well together just like that so that's pretty much all that is now nothing too hard for the beetle zord at all so they went from the zords into the mega zord back to the zords again so now we got to take both of these and put them together with the storm mega zord here and turn it into the thunderstorm mega zord so we have the storm mega zord here we saw this last week so nothing too different it's still just in the mega zord mode so we're pretty much just starting off with that we'll go ahead and pop the dolphin off of the side and pop the lion's head off of the side there and we can go and take the hawk off as well because it's going to be messed with so we'll go ahead and take that off and pretty much for this all we do here is just take it and twist it right at the waist just twist it all the way around and then take the arms and fold them back like that take the little feet part here fold them back so we have that and then so that's pretty much all you have to do with that and then we'll go ahead and take the lion's head and stick it right onto this peg so it has the part there where it attached to the arm we'll just go and stick it onto that peg right there oh and always make sure to fold the fist up as well because that's got to be out of the way for that so we'll just take that and pop it on right there i feel it's a little bit too low like especially looking at the zord from the show the this hand part and stuff is way too low down it should be you know right at its like waist but just the way it's designed with this it sits really low so now we can start adding the thunder zord so we'll go and start with the beetle zord here first and pretty much all we do is just take and split them in half you just completely split them apart and go ahead and separate there as well just like we did with the feet and then go ahead it has this little thing inside here go and push up on it and it reveals a peg hole there and you'll just take this peg hole and stick it onto the arm over here of course i have the rip cord on which gets in the way i'll go and pull that out so we got that arm there and do the same with this side so you can just grab here pull it apart and then just take this little inside piece and pop it up just like that to reveal the peg hole and then slide that onto the arm so we got that so now let's do the insectozord so for this one again we're going to do the same thing split it in half so we'll just take and split it here so the center piece here doesn't split off so you have to take it from each side just like that so it kind of splits off and then just take this off there so we got that we'll do with later so now we have each half of the zord there and there's the hole for the ball on this side it does open so i can't open it it's just this side's got the super glue part so it doesn't but there you can take it and you know stick the ball on the inside so that's how i would normally do it to store the ball is to put it inside of there that way but for this we got to have them separate so we got to get the ball out so we have two separate halves here 
here. And so for this one, pretty much all we're gonna do is at the front here. So looking at the inside, so we got the front of the beetle here, is there's this little thing inside here. You just grab onto it and fold it up just like that. And that's really all you have to do with this. So take each of these, fold this little peg up just like that. And though, so it has this peg's got the peg here, has a clip part here, and then that one there. So that goes onto the bottom of the Storm Megazord. So the clip in the back goes there, and then there's clips that go like on there. So it's just hard to get them lined up. And I'm so afraid I'm gonna end up breaking some of these pegs off doing this, but you just gotta get them lined up and clipped on. So that peg clips in the back there, and then the part of the, on the gun here clips into the bottom of the little peg there on the foot. So it's got that peg there, you know, the thing there. And then the other one just slides up into the foot part here. So we'll go ahead and do it again with this side. It's hard to do because this Megazord is so heavy. And trying to get it on these pieces, like I said, I'm so afraid they're going to break off. So I start off with this back one here because it seems like the one that's going to be easy to break. And then just go ahead and clip the two there on the sides. And so just like that. So there he's got these like feet thing now on him. So it looks really weird. And it makes him stand up really tall. So if you look at him now, so there's his feet. So he again stands up really tall, standing on the Zord there, and then has the big giant arms now. So now we can go ahead and start adding stuff back in. So like we can take the rhinoceros beetle head here, and it doesn't matter if you straighten it up or let it curve up, whatever. But again, it has this little peg here. We'll go ahead and fold down the little clip there out of the bottom. And that allows it to clip up on the top of the Zord here. So it has the pegs here. So we just take that and clip it right on there. So it sits up there as a cannon. And then we take the dolphin as well. And with this, we gotta pull the dolphin head off, which is hard sometimes but there just popped right off and that turns into a Gatling gun now and so we take this and I always kind of get the tail not all the way up like that in the Megazord mode but just back a little bit and then it has two little clips here at the bottom that fold down and again they go up on that same clip there the whitish gray color one but then also has that clip as well that's already on the Zord so again you just take and clip them both right on there and there we go it turns into a Gatling gun and as you can see they can tie the touch together here with the line so if you have the thing in for the line you can spin that and also spin the Gatling gun there as well, which is really cool. So that's awesome. And so finally that leaves the head. So we start off with the Hog Sword here. Well, then this also comes with two additional Power Spheres. With this, we have Power Sphere number seven and Power Sphere number eight. And so it's pretty cool we got this. Unfortunately, my Power Sphere number seven doesn't match. It's got a different color on the bottom of it there, but it's still got the stuff in it. So if we open that up, it has the head of the Mini Zord here. So we got to put the Mini Zord together. And so eight has the legs of the Mini Zord as well. So it's got both of those. Again, we'll have to put this together. Together. So down here again we have the mini Zord. So there it's got the head of a Zord, which we'll see that in a second. But with this, it usually starts off. So it's got a little arm to the side here. And if you pull the head down, it reveals a face. So we got a little arms and a face there for the guy. But these two things here, which do also go into hands, do turn into legs. So with this, you just kind of fold this out, fold that part down, which turns into the feet. That's the legs there. And then do the same thing for this. So fold this part out all the way up, fold the feet little finger there down or what will be a foot and then we got the two parts there that can then combine together so just like that and so that turns into the legs for the mini zord and then you just take and slide it inside here onto these little pegs there at the front you just take them, slide them in together, and they kind of just clip right in there. So there we got the legs, and then if we got that, the little face and stuff, and the arms. The arms are a little bit too small compared to the feet, but there's the mini Zord. And so it's pretty cool looking, you know, it doesn't look as good as it does, like, from the show and everything. But, you know, it is what it is, and can't really deal with it too much. So that's pretty cool. But for this to go into the Thunderstorm Mega Zord, it has to have this, and then it, this combines them together and everything. So with this, we'll just go ahead and pop these back off, you know, the legs off there, and separate them out, and then go ahead and fold the part that joined them together there and then we got that fold that there like that and the finger like that so there it turns into a hand which is going to be used for the zord so we'll do it with this one as well fold that part in and then just fold the thumb down a little in there so another hand so we'll have to clip those on but then we also have the head piece here that turns into the head for the thunderstorm megazord for this we'll just fold the arms up we'll fold them back around like this and up into the air just for now like that and then we'll take the hog zord and take and straighten its wings just straight back like that and then it just kind of goes in here to together just slides up in there together and it has these little clips here that go around the wing parts there so that's how you know you kind of get it in and then I was just take and fold the arms down back here so it kind of helps like lock them in and everything there and then the heads you know supposed to slide up there to reveal the head of the sword and so now we can take this and put it up on top here and so for this one you put it in the front set of pegs because you've put in back you probably wouldn't be able to see the face but you just kind of stick them down in there again it's hard to see like the wheel of the lines or it's just 
way too big and everything, but it kind of just sticks up in there. But while we're here, we'll go ahead and stick the hands on as well. So we have those hands here and they just slide onto the end of the Beatles or there and just pop right into that. So there we now have the completed Thunderstorm Megazord and it looks really cool and you know, a little bit dorky, but it's nice big and bulky and stuff. It looks pretty cool that way. So there you can see the face straight on a little bit more. So again, like I said, it looks pretty cool. It has all this stuff that can combine together, but it still looks really big. Like the feet, I think just look horrible because of the Zord. Like I think if you saw more of the face of the beetle at the front, it would look a little bit better, but the way it's designed, you're supposed to see the back. So I wish there'd be something that would go in the front here just to make it look more like the beetle or the insectozoid, whatever you want to call it. But it looks pretty cool. It's got the nice big hands there, the face and everything. It's cool with the gun and the cannon again, how that spins and controls that as well. So it looks super cool, but dorky at the same time to me. So that's going to be it for this Power Ranger Ninja Storm Thunder Megazord review or the Thunder Power Megazord. So very cool set overall. Like I said, I'm going to have to get a new Crimson Insectozord since mine has all the pieces just breaking off. So hopefully it won't cost me too much to try and find a replacement, but still pretty cool overall, especially cool in this form going into the Thunderstorm Megazord mixed with the Storm Megazord. So a very cool set overall. So I still have one more Zord that goes together in this to turn into the Hurricane Megazord. So that's going to be pretty cool to see next week. So come back to look for that. But that's going to be it for this review. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know any comments you have down below and hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Be sure to check out the Storm Megazord review from last week over here on the left and all our Power Rangers on the right. Thank you all for watching. Stay awesome out there and I'll see you next time.